I want to welcome you back to Black Sight tonight. We're going to talk about LeBron James sitting during the national anthem at his son's Bronny USC basketball game. First, I'd like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. LeBron James went to go see his son's first game at USC, but before the game got started, LeBron James sat down during the national anthem, as you can see in this picture. I don't know if he decided to protest or he was doing something else, but LeBron James did not stand up. His critics have come out, called him dis disgraceful, basically won Adam Silver to punish him for not standing for the national anthem. I'm talking about there's a lot of criticism for LeBron over this. But we have to understand, in this country, we have something called the Constitution. In LeBron James, even if you like it or not, now I would have stood for the National Anthem, but LeBron James has that constitutional right not to do it. If he feels as though the National Anthem doesn't respect his way of life, his morality. You have that right. This is why we fought a Revolutionary War, Civil War, World War I, World War II, for us to have these basic rights that we take so, so, so great. We don't take them, we take them lightly. Excuse me. In LeBron James, yes, those people could go out there and criticize him in the media. Those people out there, they can write their articles, come on YouTube. But see, the thing about the Constitution is that we fight for those who we disagree with. See, somebody might not like the way you think or what you believe. They have that right to criticize you. Now, LeBron James sitting down by himself, that shows you the power of the Constitution, that he doesn't have to stand up, that on his own free volition, he's decided to sit there and everybody else stand up. He has that right. Yes, he should be, he could be vilified in the media, you can go on social media. You can do all that. But that's the right that you have. You could be the only person in time, in the town square who believes in one issue. And it could be 500,000 others. But you can still stand there and say what you believe. And that's what this country is supposed to be about. I don't know that many of you want to hear this history lesson. Back in like the 70s, 60s, ACLU was not the ACLU you see today. They used to fight for races, anti asses and other people to say what they wanted to say. Because if you don't let them say what they want to say, eventually somebody going to say, hey, man, I don't like what you're saying. That's what free speech is about. See, in places like Britain, in those countries, in Europe, there's libel suits, certain things you can't say. But America, free speech is being able to say what's on your mind and not be arrested for saying it or make it a political statement. That's against the norm. He has that right. See, it's not about what he did was wrong. Many of us will say what he did was wrong. But to me, what he did was show millions of Americans that you have that right. That's his right. And you know, Adam Silver can't come by and basically lay the law down on him or suspend him. Adam Silver doesn't have that right because he's not in the NBA. He's at his son basketball game. He's not violating NBA protocols. 
But we have to understand that once you start limiting somebody else's free speech, they will limit yours. That's how tyranny comes about. Think about what you're saying. Think about what's going on. Like the professor at Harvard. She says she believes in free speech. Those said you can't say free speech because you didn't come down on anti-SA. But either there's going to be free speech or there's not. And if you don't stand for this now, let me tell you something. May I have rules and regulations? Well, you can't say nothing at all. Unless was put on a prescribed list of words and subjects you could talk about. Understand, it's a constitutional right. It's a human right. It's the right that God gave you to speak your own mind, have your own beliefs, and stand for what you believe is right or wrong. And you may think LeBron James is a disgrace. But there's going to be people on the other side that feels what he did was right and he has that constitutional right to do it. This is America. It's not the Soviet Union, not China, not Iran. And if you want to keep it that way, let bygones be bygones. He did what he did. I don't know if he did it politically, socially, I don't know. But that's that brother's right to do it. And there's no reason for people to come down on him as hard as they can because when you do something that someone else does it right, doesn't like, you're going to be the person on the other end of the stick. So to me, I disagree with what LeBron did. He's got the right, and I'm glad as hell he's got the right because I want to say what I want to say, do what I want to do, just like he does. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. Hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.